about a game. It's a red skin. I'm Viral, this is Amanda, we are fourth year medical students, and welcome to our channel, Match Made in Medicine. In this video, we wanted to talk about something called OA rotations that we medical students have typically in our fourth year. And it's basically where you do like a kind of internship at the residency programs that you're thinking of applying to, and you just kind of audition and also get a feel for how that program is. And Amanda, had a virtual away rotations this past week. I've had two virtual away rotations in the last two weeks. Plus, I'm on my IC rotation, which I showed you in the last video. So it's just been a lot that I've had on my plate. So we know how med school can be. It's very tough, can be stressful at times, and she's kind of experiencing that in her fourth year. But we wanted to make this channel and share our experience so that it can help some of you guys. We plan on making videos about our medical school journey, kind of getting into medical school, our experience in medical school, and just tips that we think would be helpful for you guys. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be informed on when those videos get released. So these last two weeks have been pretty hectic and part of the reason for that is because I'm still in my intensive care unit rotation here at school and then for the last two weeks I've also been doing some virtual away rotations. Plus, besides that, I recently got started on a pretty big research project that takes up a bunch of time so I've been really trying to juggle everything and it's been working but have to give up some things like the gym and you know, sometimes we just have to sacrifice a little bit for a little bit of time and it's worth it in the end. A lot of people as fourth year medical students typically do away rotations, which basically means that you can spend a month at another school and kind of see what their school's about and see if you like the specialty that you're going into at their program so that maybe when you apply to residency, you'll kind of have a little bit of a feel for what, which programs you think would be great for you. So this year, it's a little different, and they're really only allowing us to do virtual away rotations, which is basically occurring through like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. I've been fortunate to have two different virtual away rotations. One of them was last week, and it lasted just for a week, and then I'm on one now that's lasting for two weeks. And it's really a cool experience, even though we're not in person, kind of meeting everyone and seeing different patient populations, we're still able to meet the faculty, the residents, and just get a feel for the program. If you're interested in seeing another program, I think it's a good idea to do the virtual away rotations because you're still able to kind of get a sense for how the residents interact with each other and how the faculty like to teach. Kind of the formatting for what I've been seeing right now is They'll do a few lectures in a day or in a week, and they kind of like to teach you about either their program or just kind of some general topics in the field that you're doing the rotation for. Make sure you ask some questions and stay engaged if you're going to do them, and that's kind of what I like to do. I also would email specific people if I had any specific questions or maybe wanted to kind of collaborate, talk to them in the future about any specific interests that we had in common. The main purpose of away rotations previously were to get letters of recommendation to make connections with kind of faculty at other schools. And I think you still could get some letters of recommendation if you kind of set up a meeting with the chair of that department. But it, to me, it seems a little weird because you're not really interacting with them in person, you're not seeing patients, and they don't get to see how you kind of take care of patients. So it's really if you just need a letter or if you feel that you've connected with that person in a specific way. My away rotation officially ends next week, and then I'll just be back on my school's rotations. And I think I'll have taken a lot away from both of the away rotations and it'll set me up for when I apply to residency. So in order to go on away rotations, your school will send you an email, usually at the end of third year, and they'll give you access codes. 
and basically you'll use those access codes to get on to VSAS or VSLO. So VSAS stands for Visiting Students Application Services and VSLO stands for Visiting Students Learning Opportunities. And once you get onto there, you're able to select different schools that you would like to do your away rotations at and you're also able to choose the specialty that you want to do away rotations for. This is typically how you apply to away rotations, although this year it's a little bit different in that some schools are doing it pretty informally and just emailing our coordinators who are then emailing us. But I'm going to show you how to sign up for away rotations in the future if that's something you're interested in, or even now, there's still schools who are accepting people as of now. So this is VSAS. Visiting Student Application Service, and this is the main screen. So when you first sign on, you will be prompted to put some personal information in. You'll have to upload a photo, put in some contact details, some information about yourself, and then you have to do some academic information. Basically, most of it is them asking you if you've completed all of the third year requirements, all of the different clerkships, like neurology, internal medicine, surgery, that type of thing. So once you fill that out, you'll be able to find electives that you'd like to apply for. So you click on find electives. And then there's a bunch of search criteria. So you can search by a specific institution. You can search by specialty, which is what I recommend. So let's say you're trying to go into anesthesiology. You would click on anesthesiology, apply the filter, and then it narrows it down to the programs that are allowing you to do these away rotations. You can also get a little more specific by doing the duration of the elective that you would like to go on. And for our case this year, we have to type in virtual. So turns out there's no virtual anesthesiology electives, but for example, we could try a different specialty So dermatology, for instance, has a few. So if you're searching virtual dermatology, you'll see several different universities pop up that are offering some away rotations online. And you would click whatever you're interested in. You can also save multiple at the same time so that you can go back to them later using the star. So let's say we want to apply to Cleveland's virtual dermatology rotation. You just click on the link and you can see the application requirements. So there's several that you have to do and then there's some that your home school will also have to do. So for example, they want you to have your CV or resume. Most of them require a criminal background check for normal away rotations. It might be a little different for these virtual rotations. They will want you to have the photograph. A lot of them require the immunizations as well. So basically each school has slightly different requirements. Some of them want you to put kind of a letter of interest why you want to go to that program specifically. And once you get all of these settled, you will apply to the date range that you'd like. So for example, there's a bunch of different dates you can choose. So we're going to select a date range here and click apply now. So now we get moved to a different screen and from here, we can edit dates, which means that we can add more dates, we can remove the existing dates. Some schools even let you pick your own dates, which is great because not everyone's rotations fall on the same dates. So we're just going to keep this one date range. We'll save and continue. And then here's where all of those requirements pop up for you to enter different types of forms. So your criminal background check, you would click edit, you can select a file from your computer, or you can select a file from the My Documents tab, which is right up here. And that's something that just allows you to upload documents in advance so that if you're applying to multiple rotations, it's easy to just kind of put them in quickly. Once you have completed all of the requirements, you will click Save and Continue, but right now it won't let us do that because we haven't. But basically the next step would just be for you to arrange the dates. So if you had picked multiple dates, you can say which one you'd prefer. And then once you do that, you are just going to the next page, which is to pay and then submit your application. 
far as pricing goes for VSAS, you will have to pay $40 for the first three applications you submit, and those are three separate schools. So you can apply to as many dates as you want for one school, and it doesn't cost more money. And then after your third school, every other school after that costs an additional $15. And once you submit everything, it's kind of just a waiting game. Your school will get notified and they will put in their required information and then it will get sent to the program. And depending on when you applied, they'll hopefully get back to you with enough time before the date would start and they'll let you know if you've been accepted or not. If you are accepted, there are a few small things that you just have to do like sign some forms, maybe do some HIPAA training, and ultimately you just press accept in the VSAS application service. And then you'll be able to do some away rotations and get a great experience hopefully with other schools so that when you apply for whatever residency you're going into, you'll have a better sense of what programs you'd like to do. So everyone, we hope that you enjoyed this video on virtual away rotations. And next week we start new rotations and also it's going to be Rosie's first birthday. So we got something planned for that. So be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, comment, show your support and tune in next week to see the video about all that.